Hey everyone, tonight we're in the largest city in the West Fjords and I thought I'd just take a few minutes to show you our car. Um, we've named it Dustin, the Dacier Duster and I'll just show you how we have it all set up and how we've been camping for the last uh, eight or so days. <clears throat> Alright, so this is it. This is the Dacia Duster 4x4. It's quite a mild 4x4, but uh, it does the tricks and allows us to go on the F roads, which are the kind of the dirt, more remote roads. It's a little bit messy, but we have been tidying it a little bit, just kind of resetting it every couple days. So you can see here in the uh, driver's seat, pretty typical car, we have um, all of our charging cables um, coming out here. We try to charge as much as we can while we're driving just because we have so many devices. Up here is a Wi-Fi and so pretty much anywhere we go in Iceland there is cell service and that allows us to get Wi-Fi here in the car. We've also set up our GoPros, just what you'd be watching the rest of the video on. But yeah, otherwise a pretty typical tiny car. Doesn't even have a, uh, a um, armrest here. Then in the back here, we don't have the elaborate fridge like we do back at home, but uh, they supplied us with this Coleman cooler and we, you know, stock it up with cold items. We buy a bag of ice every few days and uh, it seems to be doing the trick. Um, behind the seat here is where we've been storing our water and uh, water was not something that they provided or, or a container for water, so we ended up going to the local grocery store, which is Bonus. It's kind of their cheapest uh, budget grocery store. And we bought a four pack of these two liter bottles, so we've just been rotating through them. Um, and the water here in Iceland is amazing, so you can refill this from the tap uh, anywhere you want. And then we've been just stacking uh, our groceries kind of here. And you can see kind of the bin that they've supplied with all of the cooking and kitchen stuff. We also strung up um, some paracord between the rear handles. So these are acting as, as our clothesline. So as we have wet items, um, you know, it is quite humid sometimes or it could be rainy and damp. So this allows us to dry them on the days that we've been uh, on the move and, and um, yeah, running the car. Take you around back. In the back here, we've got this parcel shelf. We Typically, we'll kind of um, uh, just throw stuff up here randomly. I've also been using this as a work surface to upload uh, or backup videos. And uh, underneath here is where we've kind of stashed our luggage. So we have a big suitcase, a couple smaller kind of carry-on items, and just some random clothing. Then on the other side here in the back seat, this is where I've been keeping my camera gear and shoes go down there and then our backpacks can kind of slot in here so we can grab the, the backpacks are pretty well loaded with our water and we we're able to uh, grab them and go on on the multiple hikes that we've been doing now similar rooftop tent to what we have at home uh, this is a an auto home tent it's a more basic model but a more modern model than the one that we have so it has some nice features that ours doesn't, um, but it is missing kind of that back opening, um, which we never really use in the one at home either. So I'd actually probably prefer this one. And up here you can see uh, they supplied us with this duvet. Um, we've also purchased as kind of a souvenir, a nice wool um, blanket. And then they gave us each um, to rent a couple good sleeping bags. So we haven't had a problem uh, yet. It has been unusually, unseasonably warm, but we haven't had a problem with warmth at all. So yeah, so that's the tour. Uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, hope you're enjoying it. Iceland's been pretty spectacular and uh, we, uh, we're really glad we came and can't wait to do more trips like this.